At the rate things are going, our top story tonight might very well change by the time we get to the end of it. At one point yesterday, four Democratic senators had signed on to a letter urging Majority Leader Harry Reid to pass a public option, the government-run insurance plan, using a legislative process known as reconciliation, which allows a simple majority of 51 to bypass a filibuster, which otherwise requires 60 votes to kill. That figure of four senators had doubled by the afternoon. In the 24 hours since, it has more than doubled again. The White House not commenting, but as of now, 18 senators are on the record asking Majority Leader Reid to pass the public option. The newest signatories, Barbara Boxer, Roland Burris, Dianne Feinstein, Frank Lautenberg, Barbara Mikulski, Jack Reed, Bernie Sanders, Chuck Schumer, Gene Shaheen, and Tom Udall. They join Michael Bennett, Sherrod Brown, Al Franken, Kristen Joabrand, John Kerry, Patrick Leahy, Jeff Merkley, and Sheldon Whitehouse. 18 Democratic senators publicly calling for a vote on the public option by a legislative means that would avoid the filibuster so it could pass with a simple majority. These 18 Democratic senators want to bring that back into the fold. If that happened, would the administration fight for it? Well, I think if it's, it's certainly if it's if it's part of the decision of the Senate leadership to move forward, absolutely.